I understand it can be really overwhelming when you are just trying to install hosting, purchase hosting, get a domain name, connect the two, get a cPanel, and then install WordPress on that cPanel, and you haven't even built your site yet. That is definitely a huge task, and if you've never done anything like this before, it can be really overwhelming, but that's okay because I'm here, we're going to walk through this together, and we're going to do this step by step. So by the end of this video, you will have hosting, a domain, and the domain and hosting are now connected, and you'll also have WordPress installed on your cPanel, and your cPanel is within your hosting, so that's typically the same thing um, that's what you're buying. So let's get to purchasing the web hosting. Now let's go to siteground.com slash go slash market beautifully. And you can actually get a better deal at this link at times. I went to this site that not through this link and it was $5 a month. And then I went through it with this link and it was $3.95 a month. So anyways, if you go to this link, sometimes you actually do get a better deal, which is pretty cool. So go to this link, press enter and let's buy your hosting. Go to web hosting, see this tab, and go to shared hosting. That is what we're after. We are after the shared hosting plan. So startup, let's start here while you're building your website. Let's click get started on the $3.95 a month option. So let's see, get a new hosting account. Yep, that is what we want. If you already have a domain, this is where you're going to enter it. If you don't already have a domain, then you get a domain for free, which is super cool. Let's just say I want convert and monetize your list.com. That is a really long domain. Okay, so that is the domain I want. And if you don't want a .com, there are different options, so you can look through those if you want, but all of these are free. Okay, now we're to choosing our plan. We wanted the startup plan. That is what we wanted. Okay, so domain registration, that was free, but if you didn't register your domain here, then it would be $14.95. So the domain privacy option, if you don't know what that means, then what it is, is there is actually a website where Every domain that is registered has contact information connected to that domain. Because if someone else wanted that domain, then they could contact you saying, hey, I'll pay you this much for the domain to let it go so they can get it. That was kind of the purpose of it. But it has kind of become where spammers and a lot of annoying people will call your number because you're on a list now. So if you don't want that to happen, then you can pay 12 extra dollars a year through SiteGround and they will protect your information and they'll put up random information that's not yours at all. That will hide all of your personal contact info. So Hack Alert Monitoring is a service that checks your website daily and it will notify you immediately when your website has been attacked or your website is basically infected and sick. So it will tell you. Now if you already have a system in place or if you just don't really feel like you need this then all you have to do is uncheck that button and your total down here goes to 4740 if you want the hack alert monitoring then you can check it again and then you see that your subtotal is 5940 but if you don't and you're trying to save money and trying to get a website up just as soon as possible in the cheapest way possible and you're on a really tight budget that's okay. You can uncheck it. It's not going to kill your site. This is just kind of a backup monitoring. It makes you sleep easier at night because you know if your website ever was attacked, you would know immediately. Now that you have gone through all of these steps, then you will enter your payment information below. So your card number, your expiration date, your CVV code, and then once you have all of that entered in, you just have to pay now, push that button, and you will have purchased your hosting. Now it's time to set it up and install WordPress on your cPanel. So I will show you how to do that next. Okay, so we are going to go to siteground.com, log in, with your username, your password, your account information. And then we're gonna go to the My Accounts tab. Now, once you're here, we are going to click on this red button that says Go to cPanel. Let's click on that and proceed. Now that we're to this page, this is called the cPanel. So you are at the back end 
access of your cPanel. And we are going to install WordPress on your cPanel. That way we can get your site up and running. All we have to do is go to WordPress tools. We're going to go to WordPress installer. And once we're here, we're going to click on this install button. I'm going to connect it to the domain name that I bought here. So once you've chosen your domain name, we're going to add the site name. So I'm just going to name this Market Beautifully, and then the site description will be Community and Academy. Okay, so we don't wanna enable multi-site. Leave that checkbox blank. And then we're gonna have the admin username as Mara Burks. And then I'm going to change my admin password to what I always change it to every single time. And then my admin email is going to be Market Beautifully at gmail.com. Okay, so we want to limit login attempts because that will keep us, uh, our website safer. So make sure that that checkbox is checked. And then we're going to choose the layers theme just so that we can have a theme already installed. Then we're gonna click the install button and it is going to install WordPress on the cPanel. We are that much closer to getting your website up within the next few minutes. Awesome, so now the WordPress software has been successfully installed on your cPanel panel. So now what we're going to do is we are going to click on this link that has the WP-admin link. We're going to click on that and that will lead us to the login of the back end of our WordPress website. So if you ever need to log into your WordPress website, this is the link to go to. It'll be whatever your domain is. So yourdomain.com slash WP-admin. And that is how you can log in to your WordPress website. So always go to that link and then it will have a username and a password usually there. Uh, the reason why it didn't this time is because I went directly from the cPanel. So it knows that I'm obviously the account holder of the cPanel and the web website information. But if you don't do that and you go directly through this link, which is what I always do typically, then it will ask you for your username and password. And your username and password is what you set up when you are installing your WordPress. So now that you have everything installed, you have your WordPress website up, it's time to design it. And I know without a doubt that your website is going to be beautiful, gorgeous, fantastic, and it's going to convert. And so whenever you have the final product done and you decide to post it online and you launch your final site, I would love to see it. Please tag me on Instagram or Facebook when if you post it on those platforms because I would love to be able to see that final product and cheer you on because I know you're doing big things with your business and I love being able to see that.